<coughs> hey YouTubers, it's me, El Yoko, and I've been asked to make a uh, commentary on how I make my cauliflower rice. This is my apartment, um, and if you can see out here, this is a quick view of my uh, city. That's supposed to be the downtown, uh, and right now it's minus 33 degrees in my town, which equals to minus uh, 27 Fahrenheit. This is our kitchen. It's a little bit foggy. Um, this is my brother. He's going to be the cameraman. Say hi, Dan. Hello. Here's some of the stuff that we're going to supply and our food. And this here is all our lovely dinner. This is the cauliflower. And this is what it looks like when it's all blended up in a little hand blender. Or a little uh, food processor right here. Nice clean kitchen and here we go. We're going to hand a Hand it off to the cameraman. Watch your fingers. Cameraman has it. That's my brother. Here we go. Down where the food is going. Thanks, cameraman. All it is is just blended cauliflower, and it kind of looks like rice. Got the temperature up high and the fans on, so I hope you guys can hear me in there. And obviously, cauliflower is offensive, so it doesn't need to be cooked for very long. Or it doesn't need to be cooked up very high. But you want it to taste like rice. So in doing so, you have to have a little bit of heat. And all I've got in the pan that was heated before was just some extra virgin olive oil. Camera up here. Whoa! I'm scare the people. Here we go. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Add in our cauliflower. That looks like rice. Get the temperature up. You kind of want to just stir fry it a little bit. Break it down a little bit. Now it has the consistency. Consistency. Like I said before, I speak too fast. We want it to look like rice, and we also want it to taste and smell like rice. So, we have to add a little bit of stuff and we kind of have to disguise it a little bit to make it look like rice. Right now it smells like cauliflower. I don't think I started my timer. I probably have about eight minutes left of my video. All this is is just pure sesame seed oil. We're going to add some of this in. This is what's going to give the cauliflower the flavor, the fake flavor, of being rice. Now that, right there, smells like rice. How's it going so far? Am I making you guys hungry? It's healthy. It's healthy. So what do you guys think of the cameraman's job? You guys have to post some comments on my hired help. He's just waiting for the food because he's a little bit hungry. That weather outside, he walked here in that weather. Onions in the middle. You want them to break down a little bit. I'm running out of time. Okay, there's our onions. Green peppers, turn it up. A little bit of extra olive oil. Olive oil's okay. This is what's gonna make things smoke. And make it taste really like just soy sauce, and it's light, so it's less sodium. Now it's gonna bring out a bit of a steam. Oh, good, huh? See? Stamp of approval. My brother said it smells good. And he's a picky eater. It explains why he weighs probably 125 pounds.
Well, we've got the onions, green peppers, a little bit of celery, mushrooms, broccoli. The broccoli and the mushrooms we cooked last. Uh, the mushrooms will absorb the flavor and we want the celery and the broccoli to have a little bit of color. Uh, we just want them to turn a little bit green. Sorry, I'll eat that one. We just want them to go a little bit dark. This five second rule. So it looks like rice. And all you're eating is vegetables. Now, for myself, a little bit of spice. I'm going to add some just curry powder. You all know my girlfriend's Japanese. A little bit. Oh, you won't even know it's there. Your brother's not one for spice. But flavor is all good. Okay, we've got four minutes left, and we've just about made our dinner. The color is good in the uh, celery and broccoli. The onions are cooked down. They're uh, transparent for the chefs out there, or OPEG. And the mushrooms, are, uh, the mushrooms, like I said before, I speak too fast. The mushrooms are still firm. So that's just going to cook down a little bit. There's our dinner. A good chef. Over here. There we go. A good chef always cleans up while he's cooking. And here's one more bonus tip for those because I've got three minutes on the timer. We're making a salad. I've got two different types of lettuce. You can make whatever you want. Over here. There we go. They're just mixed together. My hands are clean. My kitchen's clean. Carrots. Whatever you have. A little bit of onion chopped up. Always adds a bit of flavor to it. A little bit of kick. Here's the kick. Here's the here's the trick. This is dry cottage cheese. Okay. There's no whey in there. Um, it's just dry. There's no. It's not wet at all. This here is about 80% protein. But like tofu has no flavor. It only takes the flavor of whatever you're putting it in. Now, here in Canada, we can find it at pretty much any supermarket. In the States, it might have a different name. It might have dry curds. It might be in a bag. Uh, or, like in the package here, from your dairy company. Now, we're just going to add in some light Italian dressing just for flavor. Nothing heavy. So in about eight minutes, I've made a pretty good lunch. And other than the Italian dressing and the olive oil, no fat. And you could say it's vegetarian, except for the cheese, unless you're a lactal oval veg vegetarian. Lactal oval vegetarian, which means you're vegetarian, but you eat eggs, dairy, and cheese. So another shot at the dinner here, Dan. So what it started off with, what it looks like now. And I'll just plate this. I have one minute left. There's somebody on TV that makes the 10 minute or 30 minute meals. I think I got her beat. Although I think hers probably tastes better than mine. I got one minute left. See, 
the professionals don't have food flying everywhere. Professionals don't do it in 10 minutes. Anyways, there's dinner. Over here. I hope that answers any questions about the cauliflower lunch, cauliflower rice, and uh, as usual, have fun.